Oh, what's going on YouTube? It's Trevor's. So, looks like well, there's three days to buy that. Three days to buy both of them. But Onslaught Jack Briggs is out now. I don't know if you can get them in the crypt. I don't know if you can get them anywhere else. I know you can get Onslaught Fujin in the casket. Uh, you saw that in the last video that I uploaded. So. I tried buying one pack of the this already, and I didn't get them, so I figured might as well just fucking do the 30. The amount that I have played with them, I, I like his combo enders. I don't know what else he really does, so... That's nice. Nice pull. Imagine if you get more than one. Spawn? No, of course not. Did that give me my 30 for the day? Holy crap. And I guess I'm going to wait till tomorrow to get these ones. Like, I wouldn't... kind of stupid to uh, do it now. And that's the problem with them having caps on pay, pay packs. Let's check this sucker out. Alright, all that's maxed out. Onslaught Jax can accumulate heat effect while fighting. Jax gets one heat stack for any attack received from an opponent. And for each performed successful basic attack, he receives two heat stacks. Jax gets 1% attack boost and 2% resistant to all negative effects per attack heat stack. Maximum amount of heat stacks, 30, 30, successful, wait, what? 30, period. Successful fatal blow instantly charges to maximum. When the heat stack is fully accumulated, Jax can release it to instantly heal one of his team members, including himself, by 15% of the max health when the heat is released Jax applies shield break on his opponent if Jack tags out heat will decrease over time one stack per second but not if the heat is fully accumulated Ugh, I don't know about this for each additional onslaught and spec ops teammate Jax heal amount is increased by 5%. When a teammate is healed by heat release, they instantly gain one bar of power. Interesting. Really? That's all what it is? Really? Really? Alright. Then we got silence. Definitely use some of these. You got strengthen, eh? Here's some of those. A little fatal blow, really? Not really liking what, like, <clears throat> kind of wish, uh, special attack gave, you know, special attack 2 gave him a shield. Maybe special attack one snared, you know? Because what does Onslaught Fujin have? Yeah. Yeah. How much does it cost for these things anyways? Jesus.
I wonder what is uh that sucks he's gonna be a low fusion that's no bueno because I don't have uh, I only have five so that means he'd be fusion five. Damn. And he's got a lot of shit to do. I guess that's good. So one thing I noticed is that Onslaught Jax has a different uh, Fatal Blow. pretty cool <laughs> I would think they would have gave uh, Onslaught Fujin a different Fatal blow, but and this is the same. So yeah, it's pretty cool.
So I recorded 16 minutes of video that I thought had sound, which it didn't have any sound, so that's great. Uh, so I gotta start this over again. So the good thing about him, I, I'm kind of pissed, sorry. Uh, with playing with him is, uh, is he seems to fill up really quick. Now I don't know if it's because of the equipment that I had on, that I have on him. Or if it's because of the card. Now I'm looking at different cards that are finished, you know, different diamond cards, different gold cards. Some of them, when you finish their feats of strength, I thought before they were all the same, like it was 108. But like uh, Sindel, I'll just probably just show it after, like I did in my other video. But if you notice how quick he, he's filling up, like his uh, his X-ray or Fatal Blow, whatever you want to call it. I believe I showed that in the first part of this video. With him being Fusion, like when he's Fusion X, I can see him being really good. So, looking at the card, 100% power gen, for some odd reason, with the equipment, it doesn't really, what did I put on them? Because this equipment gains 0 0.1 bar of power on each block breaker attack. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually does help quite a bit. What the hell did I give? Oh, I gave him uh, Sindel's equipment. All right. Yeah, definitely passed it. He doesn't have to knock out Kano or anything like that. I also gave him Geek Defense, which uh, lets or helps you sixty percent or something like that. Uh, I'll read the card after this match. Okay, I think uh, he is going a little bit slower. This kind of interrupts her attack. I just noticed that. I think she was just going to uh, use a special attack on me. I think. I mean, looked like it. I don't know. Could be wrong, I guess. Hmm. 
Or he might be a lot better than I think. Because of that, like, it's like it interrupts. Yeah, that's pretty fucking sick. Nah, I just don't remember what else I put in that video for it to be 16 minutes, and this is only 5 minutes. Shit. Oh, shit, that's right. So, I was messing up a lot of math. I remember that. So, looking at the uh, caskets, 350 for an epic. But then, looking up at the ep upgrades, 150 for a fusion up epic if it's if you have equipment that is fusion 3 it only costs one fusion up to uh well fusion it up so it'd be fusion 4 which i did that in the video that i deleted because i didn't have any fucking sound yeah yeah go me so this was the equipment that i upgraded now it costs three which is, I think, okay, so 150, 150, 150. Well, 150 plus 150 is 300. And then another 150 would be 450, right? I think. Again, I'm horrible at math. Uh, so, I mean, what's a better option? Buying the casket... Which is three fifty, or buying the upgrades, which is a hell of a lot more. Now, if we could earn these upgrades, that would be fucking awesome. I don't think we can. I've I've never seen other than the level up card. I haven't seen any of these. It would be fucking amazing if we could get these as a uh, you know, something else, you know, maybe the rare as fuck, I don't know, but like, okay, so let's take a look, like, I was thinking the, uh, nope, let's look at, yep, thank you, the, now every card or equipment needs to be Fusion 3 to do anything with, so I can't even fucking, even if I wanted to, I couldn't, that is some bullshit, But with buying them, at least before, it seemed like the feats of strength. It, I don't. It, I don't know. There's other people. There's people that agree with me. There's people that don't. When I did their feats of strength and bought the packs, it seemed like the more feats of strength I did, the odds, up, the better odds I had of fusioning them up. Like I'd get back to back cards once in a while. But then sometimes it seemed like it didn't work at all. So. It's like, I, I mean, I don't fucking know. Again, it's a theory. I could... Proving it, I would do a bunch of uh, feats of strength. I mean, if you go look at my pack openings, I mean, it's, it seems like it's like, okay, that's a theory that seems legit. Like, it does, like, but am I 100%? No. I, I can't, you can't be 100%. But other people did what I did, and it also worked for them. They would get it more than not. If they didn't play with the card at all, they'd end up spending like, you know, 200, 300 bucks and getting nothing. So, I, I'm wondering if that's why they changed the, uh, buy packs. Like, you can't, you can only get, you know, five. With the equipment, you can only get a certain amount. So, that kind of sucks. Also, what sucks is that they put a cap on buy packs. Otherwise, I'd buy all of these in one day. 
instead of being like, no, well, I got two more days. I got to wait 19 hours now. So it sucks, but it's kind of cool. The dragon crystals, at least, you know, you're guaranteed to get something. Next update, not this update, because the hell spawn is not in the uh, caskets at all. And honestly, 250 for a rare. I mean, for tower equipment, yeah. But the only thing rare I think I have to do is uh, spawns equipment, which you can get. through uh the equipment packs but it, it it's like it's very rare which is again i don't understand why like it i mean every other new character well new ish character like sindel joker comes up uh a lot Even the Wrath Hammer comes up more than anything else. So yeah, um, my thoughts on Onslaught Jax. I think he's pretty dope. If, especially if he gets, uh, you know, if I fusion him out. I'm not sure if it's in my head if he fills up quicker. Obviously having Jason's Brutality, that helps a lot. You know, 0.1%. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to take a look at Geek Defense. Also, it's just all the hits that he does during these combo enders. It's... Like, that's pretty crazy. Is it doing a lot of damage? I mean, uh, uh, if he was Fusion X, yeah, probably, I'm assuming. I wonder if I can... No, after you hit that, I have to... Damn, you can't exit out. You have to use it. Okay, that makes... If, it's in, if it interrupts attack, then yeah, that makes sense. Because it's pretty cheap to do that, then... I could just keep doing that. No shit. Damn. Give me health. Yeah, it definitely interrupts. Geek defense, give me strength, come on. Nice. Tag out. Also, I mean, he's only, he's not even fusion. He's just a normal card and I'm fighting, well, fusion three, so that's not really high. I'm 
let's give him back his equipment. So yeah, this combo ender is pretty dope, and I, I didn't notice before, but that, uh, what is it called? Fire stack? So I forget exactly what it was called, but uh, it interrupts, which is pretty dope. Yeah, that Jason Vori's equipment, I mean, that, that shit's crazy. Yeah, it interrupts. That's fucking awesome. Kind of like spawn. I think any card that has a fourth thing, like Sindel, shit like that, should be able to uh, interrupt. Yeah, he's going to be a fucking beast when uh, he's done. And that's this is pretty cool. So yeah, uh that's pretty much it. I mean, not much more to cover. It would be pretty dope if Onslaught cards could do Brutalities. If they didn't have to ascend. I think that would fuck everything up. Yeah, that is fucking awesome, dude. I mean, come on, like... Shit. Yeah, that's pretty dope. So yeah, that's uh, Onslaught, Jax Briggs, and uh, now that I think about how his uh, heat stack works, it's pretty fucking cool. They get you out of some shit. Yeah, so what it's called, right? Heat stack? Yeah. And then, uh, what, what was I talking about? What was I blabbering? 60% chance to gain regeneration after performing sec 
Successful special attack too, I cannot talk. Teammates are healed for 20%. 10% for bosses for the health restored. Why does it have to be 10%? Just fucking... Teammates are healed 20%. Bam. No, no. Bosses is 10. You gotta make it extra hard even though they got Hell's Bane and fucking everything else. Jesus. No, no. So yeah, that's my video. <laughs> Again. God damn. Uh, stay safe. Be yourself. Until next time later. I still haven't... So... I always thought... Now, correct me if I'm wrong. That... I, I thought Power Gen was always 108. Character was 100. Feats of Strength was 8. If you finish the Feats of Strength. But he's 138. The, the both both of them are finished, right? There's no equipment on any, either of them. But she's 128. What about uh? I never I didn't look at this. I didn't even think about it. But like gold cards. 106. Is she finished? No, she's not. She has to uh. Do, okay, what card is finished? Okay. Uh, the, now that's... He's finished, but different. He's 108. Wait, what? Yeah, he's finished. That he's only one oh eight. Uh he's finished too, right? One oh nine. What the hell? One oh eight. One oh nine. No equipment on him. So what what's making them do I be again I thought it before it was all one oh eight. If I'm wrong, let me know. He's done, I think. 128. What the fuck? I believe he's done. No, he needs to knock out Sub-Zero. I know Smoke's done. So 128. Where the fuck is Smoke? Not that Smoke. Where are you? Right here. 128. He's completely done. But I think all you have to finish is... Uh, I think it's all the same. Backgrounds, right? Yeah, power gen. But it's different for everybody. That's plus 8. No, okay, so the feats of strength is the same, plus 8, but the card is different. I guess, I don't... F Interesting. But yeah, so, yeah. That's about it. Onslaught Jax is pretty dope with that interrupt. I mean, I don't know what it's called. Let me know in the comments. I, what else are you going to call it? Interrupt someone's attack? Interrupt someone's... Special attack, maybe? If they're about to do it, you hit it right before they do it. I think it would interrupt it. So, an interrupt? Kind of reminds me of magic. But anyways, okay, I'm done.